In this Next Gen Cam Power Mill Highlights video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mirror Project option within Power Mill. Now, what this does is this actually takes and it copies and mirrors all of our toolpaths, our geometry, uh, work planes, pretty much everything within the project that is able to be mirrored over into another part. Uh, such as if you were to have like an aerospace component like you see on the screen here that might have a left and right hand side of the model or maybe with a mold and die if you have core cavity splits that are left and right sided uh, you can actually just program one side of your part component uh, in a project and then from the home tab select this project mirror now it's quite simple after Scratch that. Save. Now it's quite simple. You'll just simply click on that mirror project. Power Mill will utilize the work plane that's selected and the active work plane that's set up within uh, your Explorer at the time. Again, this is mirroring based off of that work coordinate system's location. Uh, you can, of course, define the mirror plane a couple of different ways, but it's fairly simple to keep this in a work plane, as we will do here, from the center of our work. And then we'll go ahead and just briefly go through what the position is, as well as the direction. Now, similar to many tools inside of Power Mill, this position is, of course, absolutely based off of the work coordinate system. And we can move that plane if needed in the mirror. Uh, however, 90% of the time, you should create the work plane directly to the mirror plane. Uh, the direction, however, is based off of kind of our vector directions, uh, and that is in the parent direction projecting down onto the plane. So in this case, we're in our standard top view Z plane, and you'll see that the one here indicating one whole direction basically is in the Y axis orientation. And then what we'll do is I'll go ahead and tick on optimize so that it optimize the transform of all the toolpaths, and just click transform. Now, this process can take quite a bit of time. Uh, the process is literally taking every single thing within the project and mirroring it over for you. It's practically programming your part for you. So it's important to be patient with this. And what we'll go ahead and do is let this calculate throughout and we'll speed it up for the video. After the project has been mirrored, you'll see that we have a pop-up, a little information window, indicating a couple of things that we might have to resolve from the mirror. Not all things are perfect within uh, the, the mirror project, but however, Power Mill is about giving us a little bit of information. It's letting us know there could be some edits that we need to change in here, as well as that there's some plunging that might have happened or occurred due to the mirroring of some of the operations. So we would still need to go in and maybe reapply edits that were on specific toolpaths, as well as uh, maybe change change some lead-ins, lead-outs, or maybe some plunge points or something like that. Anything you need to do to resolve the issues that you see within the information, I recommend taking a look and doing. Maybe even taking a, taking a screenshot of this if you need to do this in the future. I'll go ahead and close that out, and I'll accept the mirror project. You'll see that with my project name that I have an asterisk next to my mirror project, it's set as read only. This means that this needs to be saved as my mirror project from here. So I'll go ahead and do a file uh, save for this. That'll bring up the second mirror project. So this is the project and mirror underscore mirror, just so we know that it's our mirror project. Go ahead and save it. And first let's take a look at our top view and orientate ourselves so we can see that the orientation of the colors of the mirror. And then let's go ahead and open up another session of Power Mill. We'll go ahead and just drag and drop the original project into Power Mill here. Let's go to our top view. Turn our part colors on. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to our projects. So we can take a look at uh, the difference between the mirror and see where each one is mirrored here left to right. You can see if I just drag my screens into place here that the project is mirrored over to left to right side along the plane that we have indicated on the mirror. And then if we look at our mirror options here, you can see that the roughing toolpaths, everything's been mirrored appropriately around the project. 
I hope that you found this Power Mill Highlights video helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.